Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Today, we're going to talk about some different ways you can color eggs. For this one, we're going to start with boiling water, and I'm going to pour one half cup of boiling water into a jar. Then I'm going to place one tablespoon of vinegar, white vinegar, into the container. Then I'm going to add some food coloring and you can use as much or as little as you want. The amount you use will affect how rich in color your egg is. So a recommendation might be 10 to 20 drops, depending upon what you're looking for. So I'm adding blue to this one. And then once you've got it in there, the next step is to just give it a little stir so it circles in and gets all blended in. Now keep in mind when working with food coloring, it will dye your hands. So you'll probably want to wear rubber gloves. And we're gonna talk about the egg next. So I'm gonna set this aside. And next I have some rubber bands. So I'm gonna take my egg my rubber bands down and the wider the rubber band the more area that will stay white but we're gonna basically just put these rubber bands however you want to and you can get a bigger rubber band and then twist it back and forth as well but we're just gonna go stick some of these rubber bands onto the egg like so oops that one shot away and then once I get all these rubber bands on here I'll show you what that looks like so here's my egg with some rubber bands. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the dye back now. And I'm gonna place the egg into the dye. And we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. For this next one, I have just made a blue dye and I'm gonna be placing the egg into the dye. And we're gonna let that sit for five minutes before we go on to the next step with this one. For our next third egg, we're going to place it in some dye for one minute. Okay, so next we need to remove these eggs. So here's the first one with the rubber bands, or one of the ones, I should say, with the rubber bands. Um, as you see, one of the rubber bands came undone, so that one is not going to be as great as I had hoped, but It'll still show you the effect and I could show you some other ones that I've made that will show you the difference. Then this is the other one we're gonna be working with, um, this yellow one. So we're gonna pull that out and let that dry. And then my last one that I let soak for a minute and pull that one out really quick. And we're gonna let all these dry before we move on to the next step. So one of the rubber bands fell off, but we're gonna peel off the other two. And as you can see here, those ones worked. So you can do an under layer if you want and layer your colors or just do it like this and you've got the white. So here's one option for different ways to color your eggs. Now let's move on to the next one. So we're gonna work on this yellow one next. I'm gonna set this other one aside. And this one I need to actually roll up a little bit of this um, so I have a little space here. And I'm gonna take a little plain blue flute food coloring and I'm just gonna place it on the tray here. Now there are a few ways you can do this and one of the ways that I recommend um, if you're doing this with kids is buy one of those plastic table covers and cover your table. Um, then you can wash it and reuse it or let it go if it gets really tattered. The other thing you can do is use an old shower curtain. Um, just depends upon who's doing this project. So I've got a paintbrush here. I'm just dipping it in to um, the food coloring. And then I'm just going to flick it at the egg. And what I'm doing here is kind of giving it a speckled look. As you go now you one thing you can do again if you have kids is make your hard-boiled white eggs then you can make a mixture of food color and water in a squirt bottle 
and you can take these eggs outside with the squirt bottle and set them on the ground or on some cups and let them just have fun with a squirt bottle. I'm telling you, they are gonna love it and they are gonna have so much fun just squirting the heck out of them with all the different colors. So once this side is dry, you can flip it over and do the other side. So let's move on to the next one. So I've made another color dye and what I'm going to do now is pour one tablespoon of avocado oil into this dye here, like so. And then what I'm going to do next, give it a little stir, but now I'm just gonna take this other egg and I'm gonna dip it in there and roll it around a bit. And you can decide how much or how little you wanna do, and then I'm gonna remove it. And this helps create kind of a speckly dye and you can just have fun with it by dipping it in and rolling it around and then you'll remove it and go ahead and let it dry. One of my favorite things to teach my kids, and this was something that I did, is to use a white waxy crayon and you're gonna draw a design on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a design on it. Now I've finished my design and of course you can't see it. So this is almost like invisible messaging. I'm gonna go ahead and place this into the die and leave it for about five minutes. Okay, let's pull out that invisible ink. And here you can see. So you can have fun writing your names and different things and having it appear. It's kind of like playing with those little invisible ink kits when you were young. For this next one, I've got a cooling rack on a cookie sheet. I'm gonna lay some ice down like that. I'm gonna go ahead and squirt some food coloring on it, like so. You can do whatever order you wanna do it in, but you're just gonna get some on there. Now you could take some of your, at the end of your dies if you want and do this for one of them. So if you're done kind of doing the lay eggs the other ways, you could pour that on there. Um, I'm gonna place an egg on top, like so. And again, you can do as much as you want. Next, I'm gonna put ice to coat it. Once you have it coated in ice, and you can do a whole tray of these if you want, you're gonna pour more food coloring over the top. And you could use other things, but keep in mind, if you're planning to eat these eggs, you wanna use things that are safe for eating. So you wouldn't necessarily want to choose things like paint or anything that you wouldn't want to ingest. So we're gonna go ahead and keep placing some food coloring over the top. And again, you could use a squirt bottle for this too, um, but we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. And now we just wait for that ice to melt. And here's a quick look at the ice tie dye. I have moved the rest of the ice away. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry um, and then we'll take a look at them. So for this one, I poured rice in a baggie. I'm gonna go ahead and add some food color in there. So I'm gonna add some blue and then I'll go ahead and add a little red as well. Again, I just am experimenting and having fun. So I'm pouring that in there. Next, I'm gonna close the baggie and shake up the rice so it gets good and mixed up in there. Like so. And we may be surprised with the results. You know that red and blue make purple, but we're gonna see what this does. So I've got the rice in there. So next, I'm gonna take an egg Put it in the rice, close the baggie, and then I'm gonna shake the egg inside the rice and just have a lot of fun shaking it in there. Like so. And then when you think you've kind of shaken it all you want, you can give it a peek. You're gonna reach in, pull it out, and see the fun speckly marks that you've made. So I'll go ahead 
set that aside and let that dry. So for this next project, or the next dyeing option, we're gonna put some baking soda into a container and you can make as many of these as you want. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some color to it. So for this one, you're gonna add roughly two to three drops, but it's really your choice. Um, and again, you can make as many of these as you want. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add a little water to them both. And then we're gonna mix them together. So I'm gonna get my spoons handy. I'm gonna add the water to it. It's a little bit of a guessing game. Sometimes you end up with not enough water and you need to add more. Sometimes you need more baking soda. So I'll show you the consistency we're going for. Like this one's gonna be too thick, so I'm gonna need some water to that. Let's check this one out. Let's stir this one up. This one's looking pretty good. So here's this color, which I'm hoping will look like a purple, but it might not. So this one's not bad at all. So you're looking for about this consistency. So I'll fix this one up and we'll get ready. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and get my egg and I'm gonna put a dollop in the bottom of a bowl and spread it out a little bit. This is gonna help hold the egg in place. So I'm gonna place that in there and now you get to have fun. So now you just have fun drizzling the baking soda mixture over the top of the egg, however you want. And then you add the next color. And again, depending upon how many colors you make, you just kind of have fun blopping it on there and letting it do the work for you. So we'll go ahead with that. I happen to have some extra colors made here. So we're gonna go ahead, that one missed. <laughs> and we're gonna blop some more on here. And then I also have one more color, so we're gonna have fun getting that one on there too. And then the longer you kind of leave this on there, the more dye ends up being on your egg. So you want to kind of just give it some time to have some fun and settle in with that dye. But it's a fun way, and again, lots of fun with kids when they get to make messes. So that spray bottles and baking soda and just lots of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and let this sit and we'll come back and check on it. Now we're about to have the most fun. So we're gonna bring back some vinegar and I'm gonna pour it. If you have a dropper, that works great too. And you may need more than just this tablespoon, but what we're gonna do, and let me get up close for you, is I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring that onto the egg until I get most of the mixture off. Let's just pour a little bit more on. So much fun. And now that it's done, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it with some clean water. So let's take a look at these one more time. This was the crayon egg, the oil dipped egg, the speckled egg, the rubber band egg, the baking soda egg, the rice speckled egg, and the ice tie-dye egg. Which one is your favorite? Drop it in the comments. I hope this inspires you to make some fun eggs of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.